Rodeo Stories, presented by Pivot Bio. First of all, Stetson, thank you for letting us come to your home. Well, thanks for coming. Of course, it's kind of nice you didn't have to travel anywhere. You've been I, traveling all year. I know, it's crazy. So when you do make it home, what do you like to do? What's your escape? What do you enjoy the most? I love hanging out with Kingsley. It doesn't matter if we're sitting on the couch watching Zootopia or Ferdinand. Right now, I've been helping my dad with cows and really anything with family. They all make everything fun. You and your brothers, in my opinion, your generation, have radically revolutionized saddle bronc riding. All saddle bronc riders are going to another level that we've never seen before with their, their ability to not just ride rank horses, but the, the feet are faster, the, the, the style is better, it's more controlled. Getting your feet to the front end quicker and with more power to the neck. What do you do physically to make that snap to the front end happen? If you stay back and lift um, and key off your rein, your feet get faster, keep your shoulders and everything behind your hips. So the further back you go, the faster your feet get. It, and the old school was there's a point of balance. Too far forward is not good, too far backwards is not good. There's a point of balance in the saddle. You guys are pushing that point of balance to the back way further back. And your timing has got to be right. Yeah, and your timing does have to be right. But the further you get back, the more exposed you are and more liable if you mess up to buck off. But it's better to buck off spurring than missing a jump because if they miss a jump, they don't get a check. I won the world last year and I rode seven or eight horses and other guys rode 10. Go rounds is what wins world titles and nobody can change my mind. Let's talk about bull riding. Sage Kimsey has had some amazing regular seasons in the past and he raised the bar and he set the records. You not only broke his regular season earnings record in bull riding, you also broke Trevor Brazil's all around earnings record. Of course you did it last year. Now you bested your last year's all time record. I always try to have the mentality that I'm in second place. Like right now I still feel like I'm in second place, which I am because the year's not over. You're not number one until you're holding that gold buckle. So I'd like to say that people haven't really seen the best of what I can do yet. Like I, I don't, feel like this year was my even close to my best year. I think them are still to come. Josh Frost has had an incredible year. Uh, you guys both grew up in Utah. Last year he came into the NFR $120,000 behind number one, and he almost won the world championship. He's gotten better this year than he was last year. Tell me about that rivalry between you and Josh. Um, I, the rivalry, it's fun. I mean, we, me and him tease each other a lot. I love watching him go, and I love when he goes right before me because he normally does good and it fires me up and I do better. <laughs> it's like, I just love good bull riding. Like, I hope there's a few rounds in the NFR this year where all 15 guys stay on, and I want to be on top when that's all over. You know, I've seen a lot of champions that almost try to dodge all the, uh, the fan interaction when it becomes overwhelming especially, but you really thrive in those situations around fans, don't you? I've just always kind of thought, like, if I do bad, it's not that kid's fault. Like, I might be the reason why he showed up to this rodeo. And so I, I even if it's a fake smile sometimes, I try to smile my best. And like I said, I hate losing. I'm not a sore loser. Like, I, I don't treat people differently if things don't go well. I just try to stay me all the time. You're in bull riding at the NFR 10 rounds and saddle bronc riding 10 rounds. That's 20 animals. Uh, how do you physically maintain during the competition of the NFR? The best way to do that is listen to my dad, Cody, and Cody Lambert. They've been telling me for years now, get off on your feet. I'm slowly starting to figure out that I can still celebrate after I get off, even if it's a couple of seconds later. Like I don't need to get whipped down every single time. It's the last day of the National Finals Rodeo. It's the 10th round. You're in the hunt for the Saddle Bronc Riding World Championship. You got the horse that you want. You're in the hunt for the Bull Riding World Championship. You got the bull you want. When you leave that locker room and you walk down that tunnel to go to the buck and shoots, what are you telling yourself? What's your inner person saying inside your head as you're going to prepare for that ride? I'm healthy, wealthy, handsome, and happy. 
That's all I'm going to think about. I, I mean, everything I'm doing right now leading up is the train for that 10th round. Like, everything I've done before is enough. Like, there's no thinking I should have worked out a little harder this day. I should have ate better this day. We're at the 10th round. You can't think about nothing. Everything that's got you to that 10th round, you just need to rely on accounting because it's worked all year, so why change anything now? To see more stories like these, visit GetRodeoReady.com.